slowly, slowly trying to get back to the workout after having COVID. Um, yeah, it went so and so, but still. <laughs> We're making progress. That's the most important thing. Give her a look at round of applause, a supportive round of applause for her. She just moved um, into back to her home country after many, many years of living outside of that. So very excited for you. Uh, Debbie, talk to us, Shabli. Can't hear you. Here we go. Okay. My win this week, I have a plan for vacation instead of it being a free for all of eating and no activity. So I have a plan. So that's my win. <laughs> that's awesome. You're on a round of applause. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. What about uh, you, Bookie? What's your, what's your win? Uh, my win uh, is um, that I went to a festival on Saturday in my home country as well. And um, as a reporter for the radio, and I really, really found my confidence. Come on, give her a round of applause. Going to festival like reporter and shit. So you're out there flexing in the VIP. Don't worry about it. We saw you. We saw you on your IG. <laughs> That's amazing. How did it feel? What do you think is the what do you think contributes to what do you think is the reason? Why did you find your confidence today? What is that? Um yeah, difficult. I think because there were all people doing, I mean, when you interview artists, they are talking about their passions and their, and, and you see people that really went for or went after what they, you know, what they think they were good at or what they're good at and, and what they wanted to do, their dreams and to be around people who have traveled around the whole world and who everybody knows it just gave me this boost like damn if i have the possibility to be around these people then i have to let go of all these stupid beliefs that i have because this is my moment so, yeah yes yes you go around the board and that's you i will, i said this the other day it's like you shouldn't listen to yourself you don't know how you don't know about your own potential you're going into a new journey therefore you should have coaches right you shouldn't listen to yourself you don't know what you're talking about about yourself you're great at other things uh, and I'm speaking to myself, definitely, in, the, in, the, in that video. Evelyn, that talks to Champlade, what's happening? Uh, my win is that I survived uh, the first week of school back to campus. Um, I've been remote for the last two years. So <laughs> coming back was kind of a challenge, but I survived. And I'm, I'm, I'm here. Did you, you put alcohol on your hands? <laughs> How much? How many, I'm sorry? Did you wash, how many times did you wash your hands during that first day? Um, unfortunately, I didn't wash it that much. <laughs> so you, I, I'm going to grab the I'd say sanitizer look, right look now. Look how healthy you are. Look how healthy you are. Good with some bacteria. Oh. <laughs> yes, and um, I've been much more consistent in the workouts. So, and and I, and I, <laughs> I didn't do the workout before I left for work. So I, I just did it in in my office clothes in in the office because i have to get my my morning movement in exactly okay. yes you did <laughs> give a round of applause that is beautiful that is beautiful that's awesome that's awesome i'm glad you're back into you know like life like normal natural day-to-day -day, like <laughs> that's beautiful i'm glad for you uh champ lady gynor i hope i said your name right what's your win for the week Hello. So my win I'm good, thanks. I'm good, thanks. It's, it's winter, so I'm ice cold. I love your summer look. So <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you. I'm wearing this because I'm melting. It's uh, oh wow. Very, very warm where I am. So um so I'm in South Africa and we're getting too close to the end of winter and um approaching spring and then summer so my win for the week is that i joined the back to school program so this is my kick off to getting back into shape for that upcoming festivals and dancing etc so come yeah. on give it a that's awesome welcome welcome champ lady uh, sahara um you're raising your hands i'm guessing you want to speak speak champ lady Maybe I... Sorry, I was chilling. Um, it's lunchtime. My win for this week is I 
fell off for a couple of weeks. Like I did workouts here and there, but I wasn't consistent with it. And I knew I wasn't giving everything my, my all. And I just wasn't mentally there. I feel like I lost my mental strength. So last week I finally got, I felt like I started the, the train again and I'm on the roll again. So that was my win. Yeah, that's beautiful. You were Sarah Orlando as well. In the past, Sahara, when you've been falling off and you've been like getting yourself back together, what, what, what do you think is the difference? Or what did you feel was the difference this time compared to previously? Because we, we all fall off, right? Like it's part of the journey. Uh, I feel like I didn't really ever have a consistent plan before in the past. So I would just like randomly, I don't know, I, I don't, I get maybe competitions were something that got me back on track actually. Yeah. So I would like fall off, but I would still go and compete. And then after I compete and I like, see my results and I felt how I felt dancing, that would kind of be like, okay, get, get back to work. But this time what helped was you, obviously <laughs> you're like, come on, what are you doing? But, um, <laughs> But definitely the book Relentless that you recommended where he says you have to be more addicted to the results than the work that you're doing. That helped me. And I was like, come on, get get it together. Like, you know, you don't you can't come this far. You don't want to go go back and fall back into what you were before. So that was just yeah. back on track. So give a round of applause. That's beautiful. Nicolina, what's happening, Champ Lady? How are you doing? Hey, hey. Thank you. Um, I'm doing great. So this is finally after a year of working on my mental health and healing my child. <laughs> I'm finally doing this. I'm finally starting the <laughs> challenges with coaching and coming yeah. back uh, to the dance floor. So done with procrastination. So here I am. Back to school, girl. Yes. Welcome. Hey, we're glad to have you here. Give a round of applause, it. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Thank you. Who do we got coming up next? Hi, Familia. Wait, 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 wait. My Luz, Abuela Luz, what's happening? Get out, Familia. It's been a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long minute. Yes, it has. <laughs> My win for the weekend that I started the back to school challenge. So yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's after nice. being gone for a yeah. long time. And Going through all physical therapy, it's like okay. <laughs> time to get back. It's time to get back. That's beautiful. We give a round of applause again. Give a round of applause again. Give a wave. Give a wave. We need a moment for a minute. And then what's happening, Champagne? What's your week? Hi, everybody. Um, this my my win for the week is re committing myself to this, um, to doing this, and not letting my personal issues and my emotional you know ups and downs stop me from doing what i know i need to do that's very and, so, and even making it to this meeting it was actually a win because i cut my time off a half hour ago at work i said i'm done i have an important meeting i'm not finishing work i mean i finished work i finished my day i'm not doing any more i'm investing I'm in me i'm yep. out gonna take care of myself yeah. Time, baby. Yeah. Give a round of yeah. That is beautiful. Thank you. That is beautiful. Thank you. That's beautiful. Everybody unmute yourself and say good job, Anissa, for, for, for prioritizing yourself. Everybody unmute yourself and say that good job, Anissa. We're proud of you. Good yes. job. Good yeah. job, Anissa. We're proud of you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Uh, Sonali. 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 Close enough. Hi. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? I live in Connecticut. And your name is from? I'm sorry? Where is your name from, you said? No, I live in Connecticut. Again. I'm Puerto Rican and I my, my name is Indian. I don't know why. Because <laughs> your, your family is, is creative. That's why, probably. <laughs> so, Nali, and your, your name means gold. I'm Indian. Your name means gold. 
Oh, that's good. <laughs> wait, who's in that? Who's in that? Who's in that? Wait, wait, I missed that. Who's Indian? Where are you? Anita, Anita, I just spoke. I'm Indian. I said Sonali ah, Nico. No way. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah. Sonali, did Sonali. you know that? Yes. Did you know that it means gold? No, I didn't know it means gold. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, international person. What's your win for the for the for the week? So Let's my go. win is is like committing to, to the challenge because I've been Mentally, I've been like out of space, I could say. So mm -hmm. I need something like to guide me. And that's why I took the challenge to commit myself to something because I was kind of lost. That's beautiful. Welcome, welcome back. We got it. We got to lose ourselves every once in a while in order for, to find ourselves. But that's very a beautiful thing. It's exactly where you should be and where you need to be in order to create a new version of this episode. Welcome, give a round of applause. That's beautiful. Thank you. Glad to have you here with us. Karen, what's going on, Shab lady? We're soon done, everyone. Hang in here with us. Karen, everybody. Um, I think my week for, uh, my, my win for for this week has been that I was, um, I, I went on vacation and took very long walks. And I think uh, there was a couple of days where I put in um, 25,000 plus steps. Uh, just the I was just, I was able to keep going. And I mean, so much of that is due to, to the workouts that we've been doing, right? Because I, I if I could have go, I would have been out, uh, you know, I, I don't know, uh, very oh. early on. I was able to go on like, days and days of walking around like that. So I think it's one of the beauties oh, of- Don't tell of me the, Yeah, one of the this workout, right? That it's not, not only does it give you the strength, but it gives you the ability to live. And, and I mean, if I know walking around is just an example of it, but that's it's something that's meaningful. Yeah, very well. So give her, give her a standing ovation. Yeah, everybody, give, give her a standing ovation. You give me a standing ovation for that. Those words. Very well said. We're not just working out to be sexy in bikini, even though that is a beautiful benefit, I might say myself. But we're actually doing this to uh, improve the quality of our life. So, which is the main thing, right? Which is why we constantly talk about lifestyle changes and lifestyle improvements and not diets, right? We're gonna talk a lot about that today. So that's amazing, I'm proud of you. Thank you for sharing that. Magdalena, what's happening? All the way from somewhere in Malta. Hi everyone, yes, I'm in Malta. So I think as a win, I would take uh, that I'm trying to build a routine, like uh, having breakfast and lunch and stuff like this. Yeah. And also trying to work out consistently because um, my habits were uh, all over the place. And this is something yeah. I'm trying to arrange. That's beautiful. That's a, that's a huge win. Just to, like nailing in the basics, like drinking enough, eating enough. That's fantastic. Give a round of applause. That's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Diana, you seems like you're driving. So if you're driving or if you're on the road, I prefer that you're just focused on driving and uh, everybody just give a round of applause. You're probably out there winning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I, my win for the week must be that, um, guys, I'm working. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm working <laughs> so hard. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm uh, I'm pushing myself like I'm up at five I'm, I'm usually up at like 5 30 but like I've been up at like 4 30 4 like I wake up at 5 30 on like a Saturday just working like I'm I'm good like I don't talk to a lot of people like I'm not spreading my energy like for you guys who know there is people sliding into my DMs but I'm just out here curving people so I'm very happy uh, and just being in peace with being in, in, in last week we spoke about the flow of life and I just know what I was like that where I am on the timeline of like where I should work and I should focus on being happy with me and um, feel that I'm accomplishing that. So give me a round of applause. Yeah, right. Give me a round of applause out here curving people left and right. Very few men can say that, I must add. <laughs> it's a boosting 
my ego a little bit, you know. <laughs> uh, we get a new, we get a few people here that are uh, first timers. Raise your hand if you're first timer. Raise your hand if it's your first webinar. Perfect. So for you guys that are um, first timers, let's say everybody who is uh, not first timer, let's unmute ourselves. Gainor, Nicolina, Magdalena, Sun, Sonali, Sonali. Go, go, let's unmute yourself and you say welcome to the family. Just unmute yourself, everybody. Just do that quick. Say welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so. Welcome. <laughs> In this call, we're going to talk about. Um, let me just see where I'm going to start here. Um, Essentially, what I want to talk about today is that I want to talk about how to set yourself up so when you fall off or when you end up in situations where you don't want to end up in, you have a roadmap and some tools for you to pull yourself back. And the goal is obviously for every program that you don't mm -hmm. fall off track. Now, here's the thing with those goals is that they are kind of impossible you will fall off track, part of the journey. I fall off training track frequently. Uh, I fall off my nutritional track frequently. I fall off my mental health happiness track on a fucking daily. But that's part of it. And my goal is that by the end of this class, we're gonna have more tools together that we can actually use in order for us to get ourselves back into that state faster. Is that cool? Yeah, perfect. So the way I see, I mean, I have a sheet sheet here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna place it here in front of me. So if this makes sound, or my microphone messes up, you guess. Screen at me. Yeah. Um. So the way I see, it, there is two sides of this spectrum, right? There is really two opposites but as i said in the previous class is that they, i don't think there are two sides of almost any spectrum like there's not it's not a straight line even if that's a good visual representation that i will use later the two sides over here but they are very closely connected i believe i believe it's much more like a circle where they are a beginning and an end and they meet there so they're very closely connected <clears throat> And with that being said, if you are watching this webinar, there is something with you. There is something inside of you that you don't, I don't think you have fully tapped into it, but you are on your journey. You are on that journey. So this is gonna be half spiritual, half, like, half hippie, half science-based. Yes, that's kind of right in my alley. So with this thing, it's like, I believe that whenever you're falling off track, I believe that whenever you're feeling fear, I believe that whenever you are in a situation or an argument, it's because you are, you or the person that is arguing with you or your counterpart is in a state of scarcity. So what is that? What is that fear of scarcity? What, what, what do I mean with that? So scarcity is everything that is Everything that is like, it's a scarce resource. I'm gonna draw it straight away. Let me just jump into this thing. I was planning on explaining this later for you. But let me just do it straight away. Now, I believe there is, you guys can see my screen, right? You see my screen? Yeah? Yes. But it's right. You see me scribbling in black. <laughs> oh, it's the right word. Okay. Perfect. So the way I see it, and the easier to explain it, is that it's oh. So on one side. We have scarcity. On one side, we have scarcity. And on the other side, obviously,
we have abundance. So if you do get this thing right, and you start to really implement this, my goal is that you're constantly, or the majority of the time, are much more on the abundance side than on the scarcity side. So scarcity manifests itself in different ways. It comes in the fact that you feel that you're not enough. I think most of us can relate to that feeling of like, wow, I, I'm, I just feel that I'm not enough. I'm not good enough coworker. I'm not good enough mother. I'm not good enough spouse. I'm not good enough dancer. Me, I shouldn't dance. I can't ask this, this dancer to dance with me, this professional dancer to dance with me. Why? I'm not good enough. But then on the other hand of that, we have, no, I'm, more than enough. Scarcity manifest itself is, it's a diet. It's something you do, it's a crash diet. It's something you do shortly, it's very short lived. You do it shortly. It's like, I just want these results. I want them as fast as humanly possible. I don't care, uh, let, me just, let me just do that versus now I'm actually willing to put in the work to do a lifestyle improvement. Scarcity also means broken boundaries. Guys, I say this in every webinar, uh, I'm dyslexic, so if my spelling is wrong, don't worry about it, <laughs> all right? It is what it is. Um, broken boundaries. And that manifests itself in so many different ways. It's like you go out with your friends and then just because of peer pressure, you're now eating some things that you don't feel like eating. It manifests itself in you going to a party. Now all of a sudden you're drinking just because everybody's drinking. You are... And, and, and I just want to emphasize this, that it's like, it's nothing wrong with drinking. It's nothing wrong with having cake at a party or with friends. If you want to, that is your decision. It's not their decision. It's not peer pressure. While abundance is much more, I'm the price. You're like, nah. I had a, I had, we have a long, if you guys, if you guys who, have, who are new, you might not know what I'm talking about, but we have a, um, we have a saying here that is like, I'm the price. I fully 135% think that I'm the price. In every relationship situation I go into, I operate out of me. I am the price. Why? Because it's my life. I care about me. I care about Sebastian. But then you might say, hey, but Coach Bassin, but I also think I'm the price. And I know that. I know that. I also think you're the price. But it's not a binary decision here. It doesn't mean that just because I'm the price doesn't mean that you're not the price. But I'm talking about me. And here is why I'm the price. <laughs> yes, here's my price list. And that's an exercise that comes with it. But I also think you should do that. You are the price. In whatever situation you're going to, you are the price. Yes? Then we also have um, <clears throat> we have I call it please can I can spell please They're like please love me please dance with me please please spend time with me please do this and then on the other hand it's like we call this the fuck no list fuck no list for you guys that are new is all the things in your life that you're doing, <laughs> negative self-talk, uh, falling for peer pressure, stressing, not meditating, all of these things, they come in the fuck no list. The fuck no list is a great tool. And if you want more understanding of the price list and the fuck no list, highly, highly recommend you reach out to me. Um, that makes sense, right? I think this makes sense. Makes a clear understanding of like, on one hand, we are operating 
in abundance. It's more than enough for all of us. I'm the price. You're also the price. I'm me. Don't do what I do. Do what you do. You're amazing at what you're doing. Keep doing that thing. Let's focus on like improving your lifestyle and really make this something that is sustainable for you. I don't want to live a life, me, Sebastian, I don't want to live a life where I can't eat pancakes and I can't have chocolate. Yeah, that's not a life I like to live. So I prefer to just train harder then because I also want a six pack, right? So in, in, then I create things. I'm coming from, an, from a world of abundance. I'm creating a reality where I can have that and at the same time look in a certain way because I like to look. Like I think aesthetic matters for me. Yes. And then on the other hand, we have scarcity. It's like, oof, the, Please love me. Oh no, I, I can't eat. I can't eat this. My 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 coach is saying I can't eat this. I'm on a diet, and uh, because I'm on a diet, and then that means that in a couple of weeks I, I'm going to go to this festival, and then I want to fit into this thing, and then la la la. There's like ah, oh, there's like turbulence. It's like I just I get stressed just talking about it. Now, that's me. I'm referring to me. Maybe for you. You are in a place right now where you feel like, you know what? I want to improve my life. But right now, in three weeks time or four weeks time, I have a show coming up and I want to look my absolute best for that. So I'm just going to go all in. Knowing that when that's done, there is other things that I need to work on also. Did that make sense, guys? Very, very, very important that we had because everyone is on their journey. You are on your journey. Don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to anyone else in this class. You versus you. That's what this thing is all about. Because it's you versus you. You know, if this is scarcity, and this is abundance, they are so closely connected. They are fucking right next to each other. Like I said, this thing, this long line is not a good representation. This is much more a better representation that on one hand we have scarce things, one of his abundance, they are right next to each other. So the skip into it is not that hard. It's not a long journey that you need to travel all across this thing to go from one end to the other. It's just, just gotta make a small jump, boop, and you're there. That makes sense, right? Awesome. Now, um, because what I hear a lot, one second. Because one of the biggest things that I hear when we're talking about um, training, this new journey that you all are on, um, this thing where you, this, this new journey, it's not even new, this journey, this thing called life, but specifically your wellness journey. The biggest thing I hear when I'm talking to people is like, hey, what's, what's happening? Like, why are you not taking care of yourself? What are you doing? Why, why? Why? They're like, no, but I don't have time. Raise your hand if you ever use the, uh, the uh, excuse, because that's what it is, the excuse of I don't have time. Like, I don't have time to train. I don't have time to take care of myself. And there is this thing, and it's like, I, I get it. I get it. I don't have time neither to do everything. But there is always time to do the most important thing. There's not, there's, I don't get time to do everything, but I do get time to do the most important thing. And the most important thing is your health. That's fantastic. You already realized this. That's why you're here. I'm just really trying to hammer that shit down into you. Because um, if you really stop for a second and think about it, because I know that it's like, I've been, in, I've been in similar shoes as uh, Anita was today. Busy with work, working for someone else. And 
almost have to like like it, I, it, I almost feel like again because i'm coming from a, a, a place of scarcity it's like oh wow like i need i'm prioritizing myself it's like i almost felt shameful of for doing that like oh i gotta leave my work 30 minutes earlier they're like yeah but how in, but if you stop and you think about it like how insane is it that you feel that you don't have time for your own fucking well-being like it's your well-being we're talking about like you we we it's almost like like you're a slave to your own life i mean that's exactly what it is i'm not talking about anyone i'm talking about me now if the shoe fits feel free to lace that bitch up and wear it and own it because when you own it that's when you can change it yes and i truly believe that every situation is that you are in every negativity is coming from a scarcity mindset or a place of scarcity why do i feel that i'm not enough when i'm fucking taking care of myself because there is something there that is making me feel that i'm not worthy or something over there that i gotta work on is not helping me because i feel that it's not enough yeah and essentially all of this is just reprogramming yourself because it's just a small jump from one side to the other just a small jump it's not a big thing like we are reprogramming ourselves again lifestyle changes not diet and this is how we're going to win in q for the end of 2022 imagine coming out of 2022 and saying fuck yeah i did this shit i'm that girl i'm that woman i'm that guy i'm that whatever yeah sahara you wanna do you wanna say something about this no you said raise your hand if you ever use the ah. um excuse do you feel like adding anything to this now when we're talking now when you're unmuted yourself <laughs> no well no? i knew i knew i was making an excuse and i actually try my best to not do that but we did have a conversation similar to that this weekend we're like so let me clarify what you just said and i'm like that's why i was just like okay because i was like i know i'm just talking right now so let me just stop and just change whatever i need to change <laughs> listen we we make excuses it's like we all do it we all do it i mean and an excuse can be a valid excuse like yeah it's it's valid it's like i hear what you're saying and that's the truth but it's still an excuse, right? And it's like I'm talking to because the way we the way we do this, like for, for people that want to join our uh, our coaching program, we get on a call with them and I have a conversation, and then at some point I say, Hey, this is the price, would you like to join? And then they say, Yeah, like again, it scares the mindset, right? It's like, hey, yeah, I know, like ah, it sounds good, it's exactly what I want, but I just don't get time, or now is not the right time or I just got a new thing, or like there's a lot to do at work. And it's like the first thing I say is like, look, you're a high achiever, right? Like I can, like, you don't talk to a guy like me. You don't come, you don't end up in a phone call with a guy like me if you're not. And truth be told, like, I don't think you're gonna have less work in a year from now. Do you think so? They all say like, no, 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 probably not. So, what are we doing then? Why, why now? Why suffer for another year instead of just jumping right now? Kind of same thing. Um, is it like? Let me see who's on this call. Let me, see. Let me call somebody else. I'm getting tired. This of is, my own voice. Actually, can I can can I jump in and yeah, ask a question? Jump in, jump in. Yeah, I'm tired of my own voice. Go. Can, can we talk a little more about how to differentiate that the the because because what I'm hearing from you is that that difference between scarcity and abundance is sort of mentality. It's like the energy that you go into it. But can we talk a little bit more about how to differentiate between the two? Because it sounded to me like there's instances and like based on based on what you want to achieve and and kind of where you are that something can the can make me both or could be. 
um, or it could be one thing for one person, but something different for another person. Yeah. Uh, could you could you repeat this question, but in another way? Yeah. So how do how do I differentiate between the scarcity mentality and abundance mentality? That, that's a great question. That's a great question. Um, I think that the more you put these things down and the more you think about situations that you are in, the more you understand, okay, but why am I operating the way I'm operating? As in, it, it's, an, it's like you're saying, it's 100% an internal thing. We can both go into the same situation and, and one of us can get frustrated and the other one is like, oh, nice, like constructive criticism, for example. So let's, Sahara, is it okay for you if I share, if I share a little bit about the situation that we, that we were in? Yes, that's fine. Cool. So Sahara, like she said, she, she, she fell off track a little bit. Like she still trained, but it wasn't as intense, which naturally happens after, usually happens after you reach Michael as she did looking like a fucking snack and crushing her previous uh, dance competition. So it naturally happens that like when you reach my goal, it's kind of like a little break and then you got to reset, right? And then, so then there was the scarcity mind that, that is like, hey, like I'm, I'm going through this and this right now. And I feel like blah, 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 like in this excuse and this reason, la, 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 I, I don't, like this is the reason why I didn't train, right? So that's again, more scarcity so it's like i'm behaving in this way because of this and this and this and this while then when i called her out and i gave her a little bit of tough love and like hey champlain like i hear you but that's not the agreement we have we have an agreement where we communicate so if this is happening then tell me and then sahara have two options there's just two options she can or scarcity get frustrated get angry at me for calling her out and trying to find another excuse, whatever, whatever, excuse. Or you can do it as she did and say, hey, you know what? You're right. Let's get back on track. Two different ways of, behave, of, of behaving, but one way is moving you forward, actually serving you long run versus the other one is more a defense mechanism, right? So the way I like to see it is like, as soon as I, if I'm reacting, it's usually scarcity because it's, it's, it's a survival mechanism. So again, like, like I'm saying, we are reprogramming yourself. It's a survival mechanism. So when you can stop and it's like, hey, what's actually going on here? I have a coach. He's trying to make me be better. And he's trying to raise my standard. Isn't that exactly what I want? Like, isn't that why I'm in this program? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Did that make sense? So again, the more you practice that, the more you practice that, the more you're going to be able to to get get into that, be able to differentiate. Did that make sense? Do anybody else have a better example? I don't. I don't feel like I gave a good example there. Elena, Can go. I ask something? Um, sorry about this question, though, oh, oh, but oh, oh. we're almost one hour in and for me, it's almost midnight. So I want to know how long you have your webinars scheduled. And then it's I have a question, have, which I want to get across. Yeah, no, no stress, no stress, no stress. Hey, great example, great example. Here I can one say just to, but, so I'm gonna ask you a question, uh, but here I can say, oh my God, like, why are you asking me this? But you don't like my webinar? Or I can say, hey, you're fucking, I get it. You have probably a job tomorrow. I get it. Don't worry about it. Like, I don't like looking into reality. Uh, this this usually takes an hour, but it's going to go longer today. So whenever uh, whenever anybody needs to leave, just write in the chat and ease out and watch the replay. Uh, don't even worry about it, right? I understand we're all in different time zones. OK, but I had a question to ask, which is uh, not spiritual at all. It's more uh, practical, which is what I like in general and uh, like something functional which i can apply in my day so i wanted to ask you what do you think about carp cycling which is a very different topic than what you were speaking about so yeah, maybe no you can worries, no answer worries. in another chat i don't know no 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 don't worry let me answer it let me let me finish this point 
then I'm gonna answer on Carl's side. Right, which I think cool. is, I think is amazing, by the way. But before I do, we do that. Did that make sense? What I said before. It did. I think I like that you honed into that defense mechanism and that reaction portion. Um, I think that's super helpful. Awesome. 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 Hi, um, this is Diane. I, I have an example, but go. I will let the lady that just spoke that it's midnight for her. I'll let you do the carb cycling. Okay. And then I do have an example okay. I can share. Let me ask a carb cycling. There we go. We run this back. Carbs, I can you guys that don't know, is that you are uh, staying away from carbs for some time and then you're eating more carbs from some time. So it's like a portion size thing when it comes to carbs. I think it's awesome. Um, I feel good with no carbs. Uh, I know a lot of bodybuilders that do it. However, there is very much science saying that it, it's absolutely fucking garbage. Now, that's science. Science and reality is not always the same thing. So it works if you are very, very, very particular with your, um, with your carbohydrates, which is tough, especially if you're eating out a lot. The thing with it is that when you're eating carbs, you get glycogen spikes. And those spikes are very beneficial in order for you to build muscles uh, in some senses, but it can also be very detrimental. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a way of, I'm not the best at it. Uh, I don't. I don't practice it myself. I have tried it. I've seen other people do it. Uh, however, not sure if I recommend. It. <laughs> but I would love to talk more to you about it. <laughs> but that's that's what that's what this does. Um, Thanks for your answer. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, Diane, go. So I, I think I do have a, a reasonable example of the scarcity versus abundance. Um, four right. years ago, I decided to switch careers. I've had a successful career in cancer research for many, many years. And I decided I wanted to go to medical school. And I am a lot older <laughs> than most of the students applying to medical school. And even my family, who's very supportive, thought I was crazy. And of course, because I'm older, I had this idea that, oh, I've got to get this done right away. And there's just so much to do, to learn. You have to study for the medical college admissions exam, which is a whole other thing in and of itself. And there are medical school applications, which are very intensive. I mean, stepping into another world. And after two years, it didn't happen for me. And I got very, very depressed and wondered, well, am I really even supposed to do this? And, and I, I really did some, some soul searching and I came to the decision that, well, if you don't do this, what else are you going to do with the rest of your life? And I said, well, I'm going to go for this because this is what I want. I don't care if it takes me 10 years, <laughs> somebody is going to let me in. And once I made that decision that it didn't have to happen in two years, it didn't have to happen in three years, something shifted in the universe. And I didn't care how long it took. I was going to put together the best application I possibly could. And then people who could help me along the way began to appear. Once my attitude shifted, I got the right tutors. They gave me the right advice. I met my dance teacher, Tobias. I met Sebastian uh, because I decided I needed, if I was gonna take this path, I needed a way of exercising that I enjoyed, that I liked, that I would look forward to. And, and, and everything shifted as soon as that happened. Well, I don't care if it takes 10 years, I'm going for it. And what happened? Yeah, great, I think great. as of our, as far as our, as of our last meeting, I did not have an acceptance. But I think shortly after our last meeting, a school in the United States accepted me. And today oh. was my first day of medical school. Give a round of applause. How was that not your win? Well, that is super win. I was, 
<laughs> okay, so, so that's why I'm not on video because this is my first day of school, but I was like, I'm not missing this meeting. But I, but, but I was definitely dealing with scarcity and shifted to abundance, although I didn't realize that at the time. But as soon as I decided that there was room in the universe for me to do this, and that, and I wasn't going to place a time limit on it, that was what was causing the stress, was the time limit. And my gosh, I'm so much older than everybody. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to be older. <laughs> Whether I do this or not, I'm still going to be older. But something, something shifted. Anyway, I, I just... I, I just thought I would share that. That's it. <laughs> uh, give, give a round of applause. Uh, Amelia, we're gonna we're gonna go into. I have seven very practical tips I want to run over to you how to really dominate the next couple of months. Here, I'm very practical, very hands-on. We're gonna run over, but I really want to emphasize this fact because I think that I don't think I'm certain that the mindset part of this entire concept is the most important. If you don't get this shit right, there is you won't you won't be able to go where you want to go. Uh, and it's really like like fuck the next guy, fuck the other guys. Like there is a great quote, <laughs> one of my favorite fighters. He has a great quote. He's saying, with all the respect to everyone, fuck everyone. And it's like like respectfully, respectfully. Like, fuck you. I don't get time. I do not give a shit. Like, I could not care less. Stay in your lane. Don't come over to my lane. Like, my lane is so messy and fucking all over the place, but it's my lane. I like it like that. All right? Stay in your lane. Do you? I'm going to do me. Because I'm the price and you're the price. And then we keep on walking. Like, for some of us, stepping into an old pair of pants is a huge win. For the other person, it can be winning a dance competition on an international level. For some of us, it's uh, walking down, you know, walking down the streets where I live, and you know, having girls whistling on, whistling. Are you taking, you know, what I mean, take your shirt off? I mean, it's that that that's just a reality for some of us. And you know what I mean? Like, it's different. It's different for everyone. The win is a win. I take it. I don't, I don't give a shit. All right. Seven very practical tips on how to actually dominate this world, um, your world, within the next months. And just very practical, right? Keep your stuff done. Into practical shit. Now, number one. Schedule your workouts. That's tips number one. If you don't put it in your calendar, it's an incredibly big risk for you that you do not do the workout. How do I know that? Because I do it myself. Uh, I found that if I don't do my workout first thing in the morning, the later I do my workout, the less of a chance is it that I actually do it. And I'm Coach Sebastian. I fucking love being in the gym. Most of the times, not always. But I like it, you know what I mean? Like I, I like myself when I'm training. I don't necessarily like all the workouts, but I like me when I'm done training. I feel I'm a better person. Um, I've been doing it for a while. I've been training for a while, but even I, the more I procrastinate it, the bigger the chances of not doing it. And you keep that appointment with yourself and it's equally as important, not if equally, it's more important than if it was a meeting with the highest boss at your job. Yes, this is a meeting with God because you are the only God in your universe. Yes. Number two, make food easy. Make the nutrition easy. Meal prep, buy your food, uh, whatever you need to do. Like not, not buy your food, but like buy your meals. Jesus Christ. You hear the dogs? You guys can hear the dogs, right? Listen, welcome to Africa, baby. <laughs> dog is a dog. A dog got to do what a dog got to do. Uh, you want to make it easy for you when it comes to nutrition. <laughs> you meal prep, you buy, you, 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 you like order your meals. Like I don't cook, but like because I live here. Uh, I didn't cook before neither, but like I buy all of my food. 
all of it. But then what happened was that I started because I'm, 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 I'm fucking aware of what I'm doing. I'm tracking my shit. Everything I do is I track it. So I felt this like, but I, I don't want to go to the restaurant every day to buy food. It's like I'm like the transition time. Like I feel I'm wasting time. I'm like I want to do things. Like if I can rather be at the beach, for example, or work, or you know, talk to you guys. So it's like, yeah, it's cool. So what do I do then? So then now I'm buying in bulk. So now I go and I have a deal with them. So I buy like five, six meals per day or per time. And I'm gonna buy even at them. Get it cheaper. One, it's kind of like meal prepping. I have it at home, easy access, and I reach my calories. Yes? Pretty straightforward. How do I how did I come up with that? And that's tip number three. Very simple because I track my shit. I track everything. I track what I do. Look into your life. Just schedule it. Like look into it. Like be like be ambitious about your own life. Like, don't you want to know how much time you actually spend on doing stupid shit? Like I wanna know. I, I badly want to know because then I can scale, then I can scale it down and do more things that I actually like doing. They're like, open your phone right now. I dare you. Like you, most of you guys, you probably have like iPhones. Like yeah, like you look at the screen time. Look at Instagram. Look at the, look at how many hours per day. <laughs> fuck no, <laughs> that's on my fuck no list. I don't I don't look at my screen time. Fuck that shit. <laughs> like. You know, <laughs> that's the devil. I tell you, I tell you, like start questioning yourself. So, uh, and then when it comes to like joke side, but then when it comes to like tracking your shit, um, was very important when it comes to your workout, especially if you're in your dance in the dance health program. Remember that we don't care how much you trained yesterday. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares how much you trained yesterday. Like. Nobody cares what you ate yesterday. Results don't care. I don't care. Your neighbors don't care. What we care about is the total volume of the entire week. It's a much more healthier way to look at your progress. Total volume of the entire week. That matters. Not one fucking workout. What? what? Come on. What are we doing? Kindergarten? No. Total volume. How much, how many, how, how, how many workers did I do this week compared to last week? How much did I eat this week compared to last week? Am I, am I moving in the right direction or the wrong direction? Yes. Quick, um, yeah. Next thing. Quick recap for you, Buki. Welcome back. You're uh, out there crushing uh, motherhood on every level possible. Good job. Um, we are now in a very, very practical things, like things you can do in order for you to dominate next, the next quarter. Number one is to schedule your workout, make it easy for yourself. Schedule it, hold it. It's the most important thing of your day. Number two is to meal prep, make food easy. I buy all of my food because I'm me. That's me. If you like to cook, do it, but do it in bulk. Number three is track your shit. Don't get caught up in one day. You'll get the total volume of the entire week. Number four, be the student you wish to have. Be the student. Be the student you wish to have. Wouldn't it be nice if you were a teacher or a coach and you, you know, got this win and you're like, hey, this is a health win. Wouldn't my health coach like to know this? He probably would. Wait, I'm on this journey and I'm experiencing this thing, but I also have like 50 other people that are in the same or a similar journey as I do. Maybe they want to know this also. Maybe I should share my win in the group. I probably should. But I don't want to bother coaches. Don't worry about it. Stop being scarce mindset. Just bother me. Like, I'm here for that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm literally here for that. One could argue that you are literally paying me to bother me. You're not bothering me, but I'm here for that. That like that's that's my job. That's what I like to do. You know what I mean? So share more. Be that student. Have more questions. Come with more questions. As soon as there's a 
like whatever. As soon as there is like a little voice in your head whispering, like, oh, like, cherry, cherry, fun, fun. like, why, how many? As soon as I hear a thought in my mind, I swear, if I hear a thought three times, I deal with it. Most of the times that means I go to my mentors because I have a lot of mentors and I spend a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of resources, financial resources on those mentors. I'm gonna bother them like crazy. Why? Because I am the student I wish to have. Okay? Um, and that goes hand in hand with the next thing, which is share your wins. Make the group a priority, not because I say so, but because the people that share, uh, the people that have, are getting best results and the people that are, are directly correlated with the people that are uh, most engaging the group. <coughs> Erlinda, <coughs> Erlinda. <coughs> And that's a straight fucking line. Like it works. I tell you, I tell you, make the group a priority. I know how hard it can be. I know it's not fun to post on social media until it becomes fucking amazing. It's not fun to engage in something because you're not engaging in it. You're just sticking your head in. Oh, yeah, selfie. Oh. Post it again, whatever. Oh, coach, coach post it again. No, no, make the priority. The more you engage, the more fun it's going to get because you get to know people. It's like, hey, look, oh shit, here's Debbie again. She posted her workout. She posted her workout selfie again. Oh fuck, that's fucking awesome. Oh wait, here's Raluca. Wait, didn't Raluca move? It, it, didn't she? Didn't she tell us in the previous webinar that she fucking moved after like what was it, fifteen or fourteen years in in another country? She's back home. Goddamn girl, and then fucking day week one and this. And, you know, I mean, day one, and she's out there doing workouts. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I respect that. You know what I mean? It's like, and then you grab that and you make that you grow with it. Yeah, that's how you win. Um, then you make reprogramming really, really like it's what you do. Like you're focusing on fucking reprogramming yourself. You read your fuck no list every day. You read your price list every day. You look at your movie ending. You look at your kids, if that's your why. Why am I doing this? Where am I going? If you don't know, you reach out to me because that's why I'm here. Okay? <laughs> cool. I'm here for that. Like, I don't, I don't know how to say it in a different way. Like, I hate chasing you. Like, it's the worst thing I know. Now, I gladly chase you if you're, like, falling off track. You know what I mean? Like you fall off track and it's like, hey, like I'm not feeling giving up. Don't worry about it. You have systems laid out. I'm here for that. But but even I fail. Even I miss sometimes. Like I don't know who it was, but like one of our students is like, she went like a week without a program. And I said, like, but and I didn't know because it was something happening on my end. So I asked her, I was like, why didn't you tell me? They're like, hey, I didn't have a program for a week. It's like, why haven't you told me? They're like, no, I didn't want to bother you. What the fuck? What the fuck? You didn't want to bother me? He's like, what are you talking about? Here, take a free month. What are you doing? Don't be, don't be, don't be sick. You know what I mean? Now cut me some slack also, you know what I mean? Like I fuck up, you fuck up, it's like it happens. Abundance. Don't be angry. Uh, next thing, and it's the last thing. Don't be scared to be tired. It's okay to be tired. You're fucking working out. But you're not in a position to listen to your body. Why are you not in a position to listen to your body? Because you don't know. <laughs> you don't know your body. Because if you did have a, a, a good relationship with your body, as in like you spoke the same language, Putin, most of us wouldn't be in this situation. So talk to me, talk to me. Don't listen to yourself. Ask me before, hey coach, I'm getting tired. But you're not in a position because you don't know. Like you don't know. And that's true. It's like you legit do have no fucking idea how it is to be on this health journey with us or with me. So don't feel like, oh, I took, you know, 
took three days off. The fuck? Why? Why did you do that? Yeah, but I'm tired. The, the, wait, that, that's the point. The whole point of what the fuck we're doing is to be tired. Yeah, but I needed to listen to my body. Shh, shh, shh. You, you need to listen to me. <laughs> you shut the fuck up right now. You don't know what you're talking about. It's like, it's literally like me with my English going to Erlinda and I say, and I say uh, this word. Wait, wait, like, wait, this is this word that I always fuck up? This is where I always fuck up. David, which is the word that we were joking about so much that I fuck up? Do you remember? That they would do your mala. Because, 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 Ulo Realty fucked up. Uh, which one was it? It was the. <laughs> uh, I don't remember now. I don't know. It was the one that you didn't do when you work out. It, always, always, always do it. Anyway, so let's say it's like I say, Elinda is teaching me English. And I say, um, Yo, but that is com complicated. And he's like, no, 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 Sebastian, you, it, 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 it's complicated. No, but I, I like, like, no, I like, I think, I think complicated is good. No, but it's not correct. No, but it's correct. Why? I listen to my body. He's like, what? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. I have muscle pain. Don't worry about it. You should have muscle pains. Shh, be quiet. Keep going. Keep, keep going. Or at least share it. You know what I mean? Going back to the old the old rules. I I did exactly as Tim Grover do, which is a, one of my mentors. Uh, and I did everyone is number one, which means that so number one, schedule the workout. Number one, meal prep. Number one, track your shit. Number one, be the student you wish to have. Number one, share your wins. Number one. Work on your reprogramming. And number one, don't be scared to be tired. Why? Because they are all equally as important. So if you are tired to an extent of like, wow, I'm so tired. I'm like not only muscle pain, but I'm like, like my central nerve system is so tired, like going out of bed is tough. You might have a conversation about it. Yeah. Worth mentioning. Why? Because you are going to share. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Now, guys, that is it from the, uh, I know, Magdalena, you got to bounce. And uh, ciao, you're amazing. Talk to you soon. If anybody needs to bounce, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to round these things up. Uh, gonna Thank you. Course. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Now, I have two things. We're going to do a quick Q&A, and then we're going to announce the winner of the previous challenge we did. And then I'm going to tell you when we start a new challenge, right? So let me just start. Let me just start with the winner. Uh, we said that the winner uh, of just being mostly active, posting in the group, uh, just, you know, engaging, would get a month of free coaching. Yes? Uh, everybody do, do this in the air. Do like um, air high rolls. You can do air high rolls. The winner of being the most amazing student previous month is somebody that have been with us for a minute, actually the longest time. She has done over 700 workouts together with her. And her name is Erlinda. Everybody, give yourself a Give yourself a Make some noise, yeah, damn it. Bookie, you do air claps because we don't want to wake your son up. So do like air claps really aggressively. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, good job, Erlinda. You're fucking amazing. Uh, Congratulations. 700, 700 workouts. Thank you. Constantly active, constantly supportive. You are an inspiration to all of us. Thank you so much for being part of this movement. Thank you so much for being you. Stay amazing. Stay sharp. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. We love you. Thank you. You're going to get an email from uh, Mary or David about three months. Blah, blah, blah. Now, there is a new challenge happening here, yeah? Um, and for you guys that are new, every month, we, there's something new we start on. Every month, we try to do a challenge to, you know, challenge yourself, boost yourself. And the winner of the challenge do get a free month of free coaching together with yours truly. Um, 
And yeah, you are more than welcome to join us. It's not usually a physical challenge. It won't be a physical challenge. You can do this at the same time as you do in your individual program, whether that is back to school, challenge, or whatever challenge that might be. Now, I want to know two things in the chat. I need a third second. What did you learn in the webinar and what did you love about the webinar? 30 seconds, going once, going twice, and shoot. What did you learn and what did you love? Know? Oh, Debbie has to bounce. Don't even worry about it, Champ Lady. You're absolutely awesome. Take care. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Debbie is like one hour late for business meeting. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn and what did you love? Let me read this out loud. <sighs> Sorry for this connection. Don't really worry about it. Miss Gold is saying that she loved, I love the vibe. That's awesome. That's great. We are a good group of good vibrating people. Yes, I thank God. One thing you learned and one thing you loved. That's what we're doing. Learn, boom. Sometimes you have to wait. Jesus Christ. Uh, scarcity and its relation to negative feelings. I love how encouraging everyone is. Yes, so do I. I learned that sometimes you don't have to listen to your body. Very well, good. And I love all the wins. Listen, I fucking love the wins. I get a full webinar of only wins. It's literally my highlight of the week. But I know I really want to respect people's time. So, like, I know that for most, some of you, like, an hour. Can be tough to commit to, but start, start committing to an hour and a half because I really like this webinar and it's just bi weekly. We're doing them once every second week, so an hour and a half should be good. Um, I learned the closeness of scarcity and abundance. Look, dance in abundance. Exactly, abundance. Uh, uh, and I love the positivity of the message. That's awesome. That's it. I learned the difference between scarcity and abundance mindset. No excuses mentality. Don't ever be afraid to be tired. Reinforce scarcity versus abundance. Uh, I used it. I didn't know it. I love it. Learn not to listen to your body. I learned that preparation is important. Love the motivation in the group. Learned. I learned and loved that it's never too late to go to med school. Yes, that's very well said. Um, and I learned that I'm the price. I need that. I need to value and continue to process. Yes. Listen, I don't remember which webinar it was, but if you want me to send you a video when I'm ranting and explaining what the price list is, I would fucking love to. It's my favorite subject. So please shoot a message in that because I'm not going to remember it. Um, Loved it. Uh, learned about fuck no list and I'm the price list. Love it and I'm going to use it. Incredible. Uh, now, come here. If you need to bounce, oh, let me take a photo of you. Uh, I had a <laughs> Whoosh, I'm so hot. <laughs> In both the significance of that word. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna do a video right now. Half of my thing, guys, like I I have a, yeah, a pretty healthy and unhealthy relationship with my ego. So if I'm talking a lot about myself, it's part of what I do. Yes, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Um, so before I- record Healthy you, balance. <laughs> very healthy, very healthy balance. Yeah. Like, Literally me, my full 90 kilos balancing on a toothpick. <laughs> like, that's how healthy that balance is. <laughs> now, Familia, uh, before I do the video, um, I just want to say thank you. Like, honestly, 
I joke a lot, um, but on the real shit, I really love doing these webinars. I think it's awesome. I have so fun doing it. I really like to uh, think about these concepts. I really do value deep thinking, something that is very, very high up on my, uh, on, on things I value in life, deep thinking in general. So for me, for me to be able to take my time out of my day, think, and then create these webinars, something that I'm very, very grateful for that I'm doing. So thank you so much for being part of it. I could not do this without you. I fucking love you. Now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, if you can, turn your camera on. I'm gonna say bye dancers. You're gonna say four dancers. And I'm gonna put it on social media, yes. And then tomorrow, I have a very important Instagram post that I was supposed to post today, but life happened. Uh, I'm gonna have a, a post on Instagram post. So just feel free to comment on that one. I really appreciate it. Where is the sticky marketing perspective? Uh, hi, unmute yourself, familiar. Unmute, 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 unmute. Everybody, unmute. I'm gonna say five dancers. You're gonna say four dancers, and uh, and that's it. Then if anybody wants to hang what, around, sorry, but... what are we saying? By dancer and four. I say I say by dancers, and you yeah. say four. Four dancers. Okay. Kind of like our slogan, right? So I'm saying it's real. Like I say, five dancers, four dancers. First, I talk. Give it a shot. Worst case, we do it again. <laughs> All right. Zoop. All right, Camilla, here we go. Bi weekly webinar with all our students so all over the world. Thank you so much for being here together with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. I cannot do this without you. And remember, as always, by dancers. Four, Four dancers. Dance. dancers. Right. Fantastic. Got that shit out of the way. Now, Camilla, <laughs> if anybody needs to bounce, I get it. If anybody wants to hang around, Amazing, feel free. Uh, do we have any questions? Q&A? Nothing? No? Completely fine? I sent you on the app to send me a video and I asked you something about my program. Fantastic. Um, yes, Amelia. This thing about scarcity versus abundance, such an important concept, you cannot stretch it. Uh, and if you're into, you know, spirituality or like spirit science, as I like to call it, you know, that good stuff mix, the perfect mix between spirits, hippie, and actually science-based things. I have way too many resources about that uh, from people that are way, way smarter than me. Um, love to share it with you. But when everybody talks about, like, you know, science talks about, like, frequency, like, actual scientists talk about frequency, uh, spirituality calls it, like, energy, you know, in the streets, we call it a vibe. Um, like, that's actually a thing. Like, it's actually a thing. And the more you practice it, and the more you go into it, and the more you, like, want to, and you consciously focusing on vibrating higher, focusing on like, no, don't worry, it's enough. I'm enough, I'm on my journey, it's good. The more you're gonna be able to understand this balance between scarcity versus, uh, versus abundance. And the, the easier it's gonna be for you to tap into it. Now, I got a lot of, uh, like, I have a mentor called Trillstein, he's on Instagram, he helped me a lot with this, uh, or just gave me a lot of clarity when it came to this. Um, but also, like, it's such a more nice way to live your life. It's such a more nice way to live your life, knowing that it's enough and good. But here is the caveat to that. I should probably say this earlier. Uh, but the caveat to this is that you cannot hide behind it. Because a lot of people right now are hiding behind, like, they are hiding behind, like, no, 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 what's meant to me will come to me. No, <laughs> that's not how it goes. It comes to you, but you only get it if you work for it. You only get it if you work for it. Nothing will just randomly pop up like, boop, I got this. Boop, just lost weight. Boop, left depression. Choo! That's not how things goes. The work for it. Don't get this fucked up. You have to work. Very, very important. 
Ok, familia.